We're finally going to talk about the transitive closure of a relation. But first, let's review what a walk of length n in a relation R is. It's a sequence of elements of the set X such that each successive element is related to the one after it. So for example, x1 is related to x2, x2 is related to x3, so on. Here's a picture of a walk of length 3 in a relation. The composition, Rn, may be viewed as the set of all the pairs such that there is a walk of length n connecting the components of the pair. So for example, R is the relation consisting of the arrows between x1 and x2, between x2 and x3, between x3 and x4. Then R2 is the set of arrows between x1 and x3, and between x2 and x4. Then finally, x1, x4 is the sole arrow of the relation R3, because it takes three of the R arrows to make x1, x4. Another way to define transitivity is by saying that R has to contain all of its self-composites in order to be transitive. Therefore, the transitive closure is going to be obtained by just taking all of those self-composites together. R star, the transitive closure, is the union of R with R2, with R3, etc. It is the infinite union that contains all of the pairs between which there is a walk of any length. As with a lot of things, this is going to be easier than it looks. We're going to calculate the transitive closure of the relation R, which takes A to B into E, C to D, D to E, and E back to C. So our original relation R takes A to B, A to E, C to D, D to E, and E back to C. It is usually easiest to think of transitivity when we have a digraph. Next, let's calculate the relation R2 of all of the two walks in R. Well, A can eventually get from E to C in two steps, so R2 will include the arrow AC. E can get to D via the arrows from E to C and C to D, so we'll include that arrow as well. We will have the arrow from D to C and from C back to E. Next, let's calculate the relation R3, which contains the arrows A to D, because you can go from A to E to C to D, so that's three steps. Notice also, for any of the elements of this triangle, E, C, D, you can get back to that element in three steps. So R3 will also contain these three loops. Now let's look at our relation. A is related to everything. B is not related to anything, but that doesn't violate transitivity because there's nothing that B was related to in the first place. Transitivity says that if you have a walk connecting B to something, you have to have the arrow connecting B to that thing. But B, again, has no walks coming out of it. C is related to everything in its triangle, as are D and E. They don't need to go back to A because there are no arrows pointing to A in this relation. Therefore, this result is transitive. We have the transitive closure, R star is the set of all of these pairs. R star is the relation A to B, A to C, D, and E, B to nothing, C to D, E in itself. Same goes for D and E. This relation is the transitive closure of R.